नमस्कार ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम समीर मलिक हाटकिया फाउंडेशन फंड एंड मेड टॉक्स आई एम डॉक्टर के के अग्रवाल क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज व्हाट आर कोलेट्रल्स इन कोरोनरी सर्कुलेशन आई हैव विद मी संजय सिंह फोर्टी थ्री ईयर ओल्ड मेल एंड ही हैज कोरोनरी आर्टी डिसीज विद गुड कोलेट्रल्स ना एनेस्टमोटिक चैनल्स आर कॉल्ड एज कोलेट्रल वेसल्स रिमेम्बर वेन देर इज अ ट्रैफिक जाम इन द मेन रोड we try to divert our traffic through the streets and these smaller channels smaller streets are collaterals therefore anastomotic channels known as collateral vessels can develop in the heart as an adaptation to ischemia so whenever there is an ischemia that means chronic uh, deficiency is in insufficiency of the blood the body may try to develop collaterals in the coronary circulation they serve as conduit that bridge severe stenosis or connect a territory supplied by one epicardial coronary artery with that of another two classes of collateral vessels have been recognized one is at the level of capillary so they are capillary size collaterals in which smooth muscle cells are absent so therefore they are smaller collaterals capillary size collaterals they may be observed throughout the myocardium although they have a predilection for the subendocardium and larger muscular collaterals which develop from pre existing arterioles and are typically located epicardially therefore those collaterals which are located epicardially are smaller capillary size collaterals with absent smooth muscle cells second is the coronary collaterals can provide substantial blood flow to resting myocardium but are generally insufficient during increased demand so these coronary collaterals may be able to prevent rest angina but may not prevent a treadmill or an exercise induced angina the collaterals may reduce in fact size after heart attack reduce post heart attack complications such as rupture of a papillary muscle myocardial free wall or the septal rupture and may reduce aneurysmal dilatation remember absence of collateral circulation to the infarct artery may be an independent predictor of mortality number 2 in diabetics the collaterals may not be well developed so the lesson of the day is in diabetics collaterals may not be well developed collaterals may be of two types one is a capillary size collateral second is a coronary collaterals all the collaterals may prevent rest angina but may not prevent angina on exercise therefore in all cases we should do a treadmill exercise test to see adequacy of the collaterals if the collaterals are adequate you may continue as a stable angina patient but if collaterals are inadequate treadmill will invariably be positive in such cases and if the collaterals are absent that means the patient is at risk of a larger infarct and needs an intervention therefore to sum up absent collaterals needs intervention and collaterals with a strongly positive treadmill test that means inadequate collaterals needs an intervention thank you